Hello dear students, myself Sachin Gurui, Assistant Professor from Department of Zoology, KTHM College, Nasik. So I am dealing with your subject that is the environmental biology, which uh, environmental awareness, which comes under the ability enhancement compulsory course. So in the this video, we are going to start with the chapter first that is environmental studies a multidisciplinary nature and in this video we are going to cover the topic the environment a multidisciplinary studies multidisciplinary nature of the environmental studies and the scope of environmental studies so learning objective for this chapter is after successful completion of this lecture you will be able to learn the definition and meaning of environment and the scope of environmental studies. The second learning objective is to understand the multidisciplinary nature of the environmental studies and third to understand the need of the public awareness about the environment in our society. So let's start with the first that is concept of environment. Now everything that surrounds and affects the living organism is referred as the environment. So the any place where any living organism they are live and interact with the others that can be referred as the environment of that organism. That word environment is derived from the French word that is envenor and which meaning to encircle or the surround means whatever surround us that is referred as the environment. Now all the biological and non-biological entities surrounding us includes in included in the environment. Now as per definition which is given by the Environment Protection Act in 1986, the environment includes all the physical biological surrounding of an organism along with their interaction means in an environment there is always interaction between the physical things chemical things and the biological things so that is nothing but referred as the environment thus the environment is defined as the sum total of the water air and land and the interrelationship that exists among them and with the human being and other living organism and the material. So the concept of environmental science or the environment can be clearly understood from this figure. So this figure indicates or the implies that the air which is a physical thing, soil is also the physical thing, water is also the physical thing and the living organism. So there is an exchange between all these things which take place in the environment. The figure depicted the environment of the human being. The air, water and land surrounding us constitute our environment where we are living and they influence us directly or indirectly. At the same time, we too have influence on our environment by the overuse or over exploitation of the resources or by discharge of the pollutants into the air, water and land which is responsible for causing air pollution, water pollution and land pollution. Means that influence of this air, water, soil on the human being is not from the one side but human being is also responsible for giving the in, his influence on these other resources. The flora, fauna, microorganisms are as well as the man-made structures all are our surrounding have a bi-directional interaction with us that may be directly or may be indirectly. The totality of all these components and their interaction constitute a process that is referred as the environment. Then question arises, does urban environment differ from the rural environment? The answer is definitely yes, there is a difference between the environment of the urban and the environment of the rural area. The urban 
environment differs from the rural environment as there is a profound influence of the human being into the urban environment because the human population which is living into the urban areas is always higher than that of the population of the rural areas hence the influence of the human is always high on the urban environment as compared to the rural environment most of the natural landscapes in the cities have been changed and modified by the man made artificial structures like a multi story buildings commercial complexes factories transportation networks and so on so all these are the things which are artificial things which is made by the human being for his life sustaining processes so which has the great influence on their environment which is typically higher in the urban areas than that of the rural the urban air water soil are loaded with the various types of chemicals and different kinds of the waste as compared with the rural environment and the diversity of plant and animal is much less as compared to the rural environment into the urban areas so there is a greater difference between the diversity also in terms of the plant diversity or the animal diversity that differs from the urban and the rural environment the urban population is more dense and has the greater energy demands hence consumerism is a very high into the urban environment as compared to the rural environment so hence we can definitely say that yes there is a difference between the urban environment and the rural environment so this is just the introduction for the concept of the environment and distinction between the urban environment and the rural environment now let's see the multidisciplinary nature of the environmental science so environment is a very complex one and has a multi various aspects the environmental studies deals with the working of earth its life support systems its interactions its influence its problem and the solutions means whole environmental studies is quite a complex thing in which we have to learn the different kinds of the interaction in between the non biological things as well as the biological things keeping in view of the complex nature of the environment knowledge and information from the various disciplines of the science social science law engineering have to be included into the environmental studies to understand it completely now this figure is depicts the multidisciplinary nature of the environmental studies which is connected with the several other branches of the science and the arts also or the social sciences also so life science that includes the biology such as botany zoology microbiology genetics and biochemistry helps in understanding the biotic components and their interactions so the genetics and the biotechnology are the emerging as useful tool in finding the solution to the environmental problems so this environmental studies on one side it is has a its approach towards a life science then for understanding the physical and the chemical structures of a biotic component of the environment it has the link with the physical sciences also okay the environment along with the mass energy transfer we have to make use of the basic concepts of the physics then chemistry earth science that is geology atmospheric science oceanography and geography which all are comes under the category of the physical sciences so physical sciences is also related with the environmental studies for because for the understanding some interactions which happens into the environment we have to take the help of all these subjects from the physical science then mathematics statistic computer science likewise serves as a effective tool in environmental modeling 
when we are setting a model for a learning a particular thing then we have to compute some data and to compute that data we have to take the help of the subject or the discipline such as the mathematics statistics and obviously the computer science then subjects like economics politics sociology provides the inputs for dealing with the socio economic aspects associated with the various developmental activities then a synthesis of the civil engineering hydraulic the chemical engineering nanotechnology it provides a technical solution to the environmental pollution control and the waste treatment that are extremely important for protection of the environment hence these technological branches such as the civil engineering chemical engineering hydraulics and the nanotechnology it is also important in learning the environmental studies so environmental laws provides the guidelines and the legal measures uh, for the effective management and protection of the environment so there are various kinds of the laws which are enforced by our government and the, at the international level for conserving our environment and the biodiversity so that needs a knowledge of the field known as law for the some legal measures then environmental education and the mass communication are the two important subject that are instrumental in disseminating the environmental awareness for example just a, this subject is included into the curriculum at asybsc level so this is all for just a making people aware about the environment and for that purpose the and subjects like a mass communication philosophy they are equally important then environmental ethics provides the guideline for the sustainable lifestyle hence the environmental science is a multidisciplinary subject where we deal with the different aspects using a holistic approaches so in this way the environmental studies has a multidisciplinary nature as it is concerned with the various other branches of the science social science and the technology just for understanding whatever interaction that happens between the biological and non biological things in a particular area that is nothing but a study of the environment this is about multidisciplinary study so let's see the scope of environmental studies so due to its complex and multidisciplinary nature the environmental studies as a subject has a wide scope it encompasses a large number of areas and aspects which are summarized in this point the first of all the natural resources their conservation and management then second is the ecology and biodiversity third one is environmental pollution studies and their control technology the social issues and sustainable development human population and the environment <clears throat> so all these are the important things which are very important so first of all the natural resources obviously these natural resources are very very important thing which we are getting from the nature and without these resources which are unable to live a standard life so we require a different types of the fuel which can be routinely used in a various things for example the transportation cooking the food material all they requires a different kinds of the natural gases or uh, the petroleum products or all these are the resources now actually resources are anything that have present into the nature and which we are utilizing for our processes that can be referred as the natural resources then ecology and biodiversity is very important ecology is nothing but the interaction between the all biotic and abiotic things or the in between the two different biotic things that is referred as the ecology 
and obviously biodiversity is a of a great importance which makes our life colorful so this is one of the important scope for that environmental studies then next one is a pollution studies and control technology now nowadays with the development human being is responsible for putting a extra burden on the environment by used utilizing the available natural resources unsustainably and also due to the processing of a various goods to convert into the fine goods the various technologies can be employed and the one of the output of this technology is a different kinds of the pollution that may be the air pollution water pollution soil pollution or the radioactive pollution and recently the e waste pollution is also there so all these are creating a severe impact on our lifestyle so that have to study it has a great scope in the environment and obviously when there is a problem comes we have to think for their different kinds of the technology which is responsible for controlling or overcoming that problem and hence the branch is evolved that is pollution studies and their control technology has a great scope into the environmental studies then human pollution and the environment the human population is continuously increasing and with the increased population the human pollution is also increasing and which is responsible for imparting a extra burden on the environment by utilizing a great natural resources present in our vicinity now recently or in recent years the scope of environmental study has expanded dramatically over the world several career options have emerged in this field that are broadly categorized as research and development then green advocacy green marketing green media and environmental consultancy so these are the recent career opportunity which has increased the scope of the environmental studies multifold recently so let's see one by one first of all the research and development which is commonly known as r and d the skilled environmental scientists have an important role to play in examining the various environmental problems in a scientific manner and carried out the research and development activities for developing clearly cleaner technologies and promoting the sustainable development there is a need for the trained in manpower at a every level to deal with the environmental issues the environmental management and the environmental engineering are emerging as a new career opportunities for the environmental protection and the management the with the pollution control laws becoming a more stringent industries are finding it difficult to dispose of the waste which is produced in the processing uh, of the things to convert into the finished product in order to avoid the expensive litigation companies are now trying to adopt a green technology which would reduce the pollution and hence there is a great scope in research and development for finding the technologies which overcomes the problem of this disposal of pollution waste or whatever waste which is generated by the human being or the human activity investing in a pollution control technology will reduce the pollution as well as cut on the cost of the effluent treatment market for pollution control technology is increased the uh, world over cleaning up the waste produced is another potential market it is estimated to be more than 100 billion dollars per year for all american businesses is uh, spent just for the adopting a different kinds of the technology to reduce this pollution hence this research and development has one of the great career opportunity for the peoples who are studying the environment then second one is a green advocacy 
with the increased emphasis on the implementing the various acts and laws related to the environment there is a need for environmental lawyers it has emerged who should be able to plead the cases related to the water and air pollution forest and wildlife and hence there is a need of green advocacy which is actually the field of law which can be their knowledge can be used in a application of the environmental studies so there is a great scope for the green advocacy also the next one is a green marketing while ensuring the quality of the products with a iso mark now there is an increasing emphasis on the marketing the goods that are environmental friendly and that marketing of environmental friendly products that is referred as the green marketing now such a products have eco mark or iso 14000 certification i think you have uh, may heard about that iso certification so which is nothing but the green marketing the environmental auditors and the environmental managers would be in great demand in the coming years hence there is a great scope in environment green marketing also the next one is a green media the environmental awareness can be spread among the mass masses through a mass media like a television radio newspaper magazines holdings advertisement etc for which the environmentally educated persons are required and this is a one of the new emerging field for the environmental studies known as the green media and the last one is the environmental consultancy many non government organization which are commonly known as ngos industries and government bodies are engaging the environmental consultants for systematically studying and tackling the environmental related problems and for that purpose there is a requirement of the consultancy and that consultancy can be referred as the environmental consultancy so along with the past scope so these are newly emerged uh, scope in the studies of the environmental <coughs> studies and this is about the scope of environmental studies so with this we can conclude with this video thank you thank you very much